What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new WWE and AEW action figure news, and it's actually a very, very packed day. This is a very, very busy day for me. Should be a multiple upload day for me today, man, because not only do we have news this morning, we also have AEW Fan Fest for Double or Nothing happening, so we're going to do a reaction video to all those figure reveals, whatever the hell we get, whatever we see. We're going to be talking about and breaking all of that stuff down, all the news, all the action figure images that we get. We're going to break all that down later today. And then on top of that, we have Night of Champions that is probably kicking off in just a matter of hours. And I want to review that show. I want to talk about it, talk about the new world champion, dive into all those things, talk about the show in general. So we not only have multiple news videos, but we also have a full-fledged review of Night of Champions and stuff like that. So we have a lot of stuff to cover, man. And not to mention, we have Double or Nothing tomorrow. And I want to talk about that show as well. I want to review that show and talk about it. So it should be very fun. And wrapping all that up, it is also Memorial Day weekend. So we get just, just, just lots of things happening around here but nonetheless man let's dive into today's news video before we get into the rest of what the weekend holds but today we have some epic news for us and some head scratching stuff so let's shut the hell up and dive into it starting out first man we do have a huge shout out to my man epic figs for some of this news here today as we have some reveals of some upcoming waves and he has completely nailed it wherever he gets his news from i don't know what the source is completely i think it's like some random websites and things of that nature he's been accurate before he's been right before so let's dive into the greatest hit series number three expected at the end of this year and so let's run down the lineup now there's a bunch of interesting things about this lineup but let's let's just get into it man the first figure in this wave is going to be the rock as the scorpion king yes the rock is the scorpion king the hollywood elite as you guys know it seems as if this figure line has evolved not really into the greatest hits line but into the figs that missed line or just a line that is about figures with bad distribution end up in this line and that's kind of what they're doing here and i guess they're kind of doing a little bit of both but we'll dive into that man we have the rock as the scorpion king now this is a figure that i really really wanted and was excited for but i never got my hands on it i it, i wasn't finding that shish at retail i didn't find the andre the giant i didn't find the roman reigns and so i understand why they're plugging this in like i i completely grasp why it's here and this is probably one of the only figures in the rest of the set that i'm looking forward to and so i know you're probably listening to that and being like oh god in heaven what have they put in this wave but let's dive into the rest of it the next figure in this set is Roddy Piper as John Nada. Yes, John Nada, Roddy Piper Elite here from They Live. I actually found a few copies of this figure. I pre-ordered it from Walmart, and then I ended up finding two of them at my local Walmart. So I, I, I freaked out finding them at my local Walmart and bought them both, and then I think it was like three days later, I got two more in the mail, and I was like, what the hell am I gonna do with all these? So I actually do have many copies of this figure, but it's great because of the cloth goods and all those things, but that Hollywood Elite line, man, all the different hits and misses, I feel like it either shelf-warmed horribly or no Nobody found any of them, and that's kind of, that was the in-between right there. Like, the Fast 9 John Cena, lots of just weird stuff going on so far. Two Hollywood elites in this line already, and we're just getting started. Next up is Brutus the Barber Beefcake from the same Legend series as the Greatest Hits DDP figure that we just got in Greatest Hits series number two. So in series number three, we're going right back to that Legend set with DDP that came out, I think, a year and a half, two years ago. The Brutus Beefcake from that same set is being released here. So how wild is that? Another Another figure from that Elite Legends set, again, it was right, I think it was like right, nah, I don't think it was right at COVID, but it was like just after maybe? I can't remember exactly the timeline. I want to say it was after all of that stuff went down, but a very cool figure as far, like I'm not a Beefcake fan, but all the colors and stuff on both of these. He was also the Chase in the set. I'm wondering if it'll be the regular edition or the Chase edition. That'll be interesting to see. But Brutus Beefcake is the next one. The fourth figure in this set is going to be Seth Rollins. We're getting another Seth Rollins in back-to-back -back sets. Now, I mean, Good God in heaven, man. How hyped would you be for this figure had they done an updated formula? Had they done the Greatest Hit Series 2 figure, the Toys R Us exclusive cash-in set, had they done it in updated Seth Rollins figure form, how much more excited would you be for this one? But now that you know that they're not going to update the formula whatsoever, and it's just going to be a rehash with double-jointed arms of a former Seth Rollins Elite, how does that make you feel? That, I mean, that just kind of sucks the wind out of your sails immediately, at least for me, because I'm excited excited for Elite 45 Seth Rollins if it is indeed Elite 45 Seth Rollins. That's what I'm going to go ahead and put out there, but I thought I thought Greatest Hit Series 2 was going to be Elite 45 Rollins, and then we all know the fiasco that took place, so I don't know, man. I'm intrigued to see how it comes out, just to see, you know, what comes of it, but knowing what we know now, I don't know, man. It, it's kind of a miss for me, and it just, just imagine they put like a shield Seth Rollins in this wave. Can you imagine? Oh my god, man. They're going to do it, aren't they? If this is a shield Seth Rollins, oh my god, heaven, bro. 
That is going to be hilarious. Not really. I'll be upset, but it'll be hilarious for everyone else. Next up in the set, we have R-Truth. R-Truth in this Elite Wave. I have no idea what R-Truth is going to be. Is it going to be the Elite 78 figure? Like, I do see that that figure is, like, sought after, but it's the most updated R-Truth figure. But this figure had a chance. I don't, I don't know why this would be in here. I, I, I don't know, you know? I, I don't know everything. But I feel like the Greatest Hits Wave kind of wraps up something I say on the channel all the time. And what I say all the time time around here is you can never ever predict the aftermarket of the WWE action figure marketplace. You can never spot it. You never know what figures are going to skyrocket and which figures are going to be shelf warming, overproduced. Nobody wants it. Garbage. Our truth right here could be Elite 78, could be a former Elite, but I'm going to predict it's Elite 78. Updated arms and stuff like that. I mean, I, I guess it could be cool, but it's going to have the John Cena feet, so that's going to suck eggs. The next figure in the set is Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt in this set. What is this? Imagine they put another fiend in there. It's just a, it's just the elite fiend that we saw three or four times. And then it's just they do it again with double jointed arms even though we have two ultimates. Oh my god. I feel like it's gonna probably be the best of pay-per-view or the elite 28. It could be the elite 36 or the elite 54 as well. But I don't know. I mean it's kind of pick your poison here. I feel like it'll probably be the elite 28 though with the white pants and the Hawaiian shirt. But who, who am I? Who knows? You know I've been wrong before. I thought elite 45 Rollins was gonna be in greatest hit series two ended up being the cash in so i don't know you know you never know you, when you make predictions out here like this man you never know what's going to come of it but bray wyatt is the next figure in the set and you probably think oh that's the set there's only six figures apparently there is eight figures in this Greatest Hits Series 3 figure set. And the last two in the set is going to be the Natural Disasters, Earthquake, and Typhoon Elites. Now, the only way this makes sense is if it's the TNF Elites, the Walmart-exclusive TNF, if you guys remember those sets. It feels like yesterday we were trying to track those down. I remember it was the Natural Disasters, and then you had, what, Macho Man and Sami Zayn. You had a Seth Rollins and American Alpha. Then you had the three-packs. You had, like, the Shield three-pack, and then you had the Bash of the Beach three-pack. What times to be collectors, man. What a time to be collectors. That was a crazy time. But yes, this is the full wave here. The Rock is Scorpion King, Roddy Piper is John Nada, Brutus Beefcake, Seth Rollins, R-Truth, Bray Wyatt, Earthquake, and Typhoon. Expected December 2023. Elite Greatest Hits Series 3. Now, I know a lot of people are not feeling this set, and I think I'm right there with you. Until I see the figures and see which selections they are and all that, I don't know how hyped I'm going to be. Just, the Rock is Scorpion King is really the only one where I'm like, hell yes, can't wait to add that to the collection. The rest are just like, I guess if I get them, I get them. If I don't, I don't. But I am also intrigued to see which Seth Rollins they go with. But now knowing the formula, they're not going to update. I don't know how much I can get and invest into being excited for this figure. You know what I'm saying? So I just have to, I got to play the waiting game. We're going to wait and see what comes of it. But this Elite Greatest Hits Series 3 set, I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. I'd love to know where you guys stand on this. But that is Elite Series 3 for the Greatest Hits. I am intrigued, to say the least. But that is not all the news we have, man. We have more news coming at you, so buckle the hell up. We also have a look at some upcoming Basic sets. Now, Basic Series 140 and 141 have been talked about and revealed to us here. If you guys were unaware, Basic Series 140 was revealed to us over WrestleMania weekend. I never did really a full in-depth video on this Basic set. I only did the Elites and Ultimates. But I guess we can talk about them here. Basic Series 140 is going to include the, the suited Cody Rhodes, a Randy Orton, a Tommaso Ciampa, a Ronda Rousey, and a Rey Mysterio with a new t-shirt mold. And I think this full wave is pretty damn good. Of course, we're going to have to wait on the head sculpts and what they look like. I still hate the suited bodies Mattel does. I mean, it's a suited Cody, so I'm intrigued for it to see exactly how it comes out. I bet that head sculpt will probably be the defining moments head sculpt if I had to guess, so that'll be worth picking up by itself. But having a suited Cody is always money for me. We have Randy Orton here that also has a really good looking head sculpt. The Rey Mysterio t-shirt mold looks really good. I'm excited to see what gear and mask they go with. Ronda Rousey looks like she has some newer stuff going on, but her belly button is still there, so I don't know if that's going to be a t-shirt with the painted on, you know, over the belly button again. Can't really tell. And then you have Tommaso Ciampa here, which it kind of looks like the Elite 69 Ciampa head sculpt, but maybe we'll get some, like, new paint apps, and it'll look really, really good. But this whole set's pretty solid. Uh, you know, it's a basic set. What can you say? But I'm intrigued with some figures in the set. We're just going to have to play the waiting game. What colors, what head sculpts, what paint apps look like on these figures. That'll be the biggest telltale sign of what's to come here. But Basic Series 140 is pretty solid. But we also have a look at up coming basic series 141 and for basic series 141 we have brock lesnar 
The Rock, Bianca Belair, LA Knight, and Seth Rollins. So there's some actually, I think this is some pretty good stuff going on in here. I like this set right here. I think you got some good stuff going on. We're finally getting an LA Knight. I know a lot of people are going to be excited about that. Hopefully he's easy to convert into an elite. I don't foresee him being hard to convert into an elite using some different parts and stuff like that. I think you could be able to make a, an LA Knight pretty easily. You know, you get the basic, convert him into an elite, maybe an ultimate if that's your game. But Brock Lesnar will probably have the braided ponytail, you know, head sculpt or the braided, you know, the braided head sculpt. You have the rock, which is probably going to be your run-of-the-mill rock figure that we get every three months. Bianca Belair, her basics look pretty god-awful. Hopefully the head sculpt looks good, but most of her basics are so flat, but all basic women's figures, for the most part, have like no sculpting on it. It's just like flat painted, and it's like, if the head sculpt's good, it's good. If it's not, then it's pretty trash. LA Knight, like we said, he is the chase. So you get two LA Knight figures, and then you have Seth Rollins, which it'll probably include one of his ultimate head sculpts, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. May it not include no head sculpts that we like, so we'll have to see and play that by ear. Hopefully, it's a good basic there, but that is Basic Series 141, including LA Knight. We also have a look at some upcoming Championship Showdown packs, and these are pretty intriguing. I'm excited to see what comes of these, but we have Roman Reigns and Logan Paul in the first set, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Triple H, and Kevin Owens and AJ Styles. So this set's pretty good. I'm excited to see what we get here, you know, what each guy looks like. Logan Paul, I know that battle pack's probably going to be heavily sought after. Imagine being Logan Paul, and then you get a you get a freaking battle pack with Roman Reigns, man. What a time to be alive. What, living the dream. You get an Ultimate Edition, then you get the freaking battle pack. I bet his figures fly off shelves, man. I Like, I just don't imagine they won't, and that might be one that you grab every single time just because, but I feel like people are going to grab those just for the head sculpts alone. You have Roman Reigns, you yes. know, it's probably going to be your run-of-the-mill Roman Reigns, but hopefully we'll get a new head sculpt or just something that makes that, you know, that Roman Reigns sought after. Stone Cold and Triple H, again, all gonna be on the head sculpts and the attires and whatnot. Then you have Kevin Owens and AJ Styles gonna, again, depend on the head sculpts. Hopefully that AJ Styles has some Ultimate Edition head sculpts, get some reuse out of that. And then Kevin Owens, probably his Elite 101 figure. We'll see, have to play that one by ear as well, but that's your Championship Showdown packs. You know, they're basic figures, but I think, you know, you can't have some good stuff going on with basics. It just depends, you know what I'm saying? We also had some loose images upcoming of the next Legends series. We have WWE Elite Legends 20, which is going to be Target exclusive, of course. We have Greg the Hammer Valentine, Triple H, Mr. Perfect, and Ted DiBiase. All four of these figures look solid. You know, it's kind of difficult to see about Mr. Perfect and that, like, rubber tank top deal that they're doing just like The Undertaker. You know, we heard that it looked a little bit better at the waist, but I can't see it from this image again. I don't think you're really going to be able to tell until you have that figure in hand, but I think it's a pretty solid Mr. Perfect. Like, the formula and all that good stuff is there. You get the Icy Championship. Greg the Hammer Valentine, really good jacket. Uh, this does have those thicker thighs, that new thigh mold. I think the head sculpt looks good. This is really nice. I think this Greg the Hammer Valentine is actually a really solid figure. Not a fan of the guy, but I still can appreciate the figure looking like the character portrayed on television. We have Triple H here. Now, very interesting, man. They went with the Ultimate Edition gear. The same gear that we've already seen in Ultimate Edition form. Uh, you know, I'll get it for the shirt, you know, just to, to have another uh, Triple H in the collection. It looks like he comes with a spray can, like a, you know, like a like a spray paint can. And then he also comes with a little chainmail plastic piece, it looks like, with the shirt. Now, I thought the graphic on the shirt was going to be what was going to be on his trunks, not the silver Triple H. Like, I, don't get me wrong, this Triple H is iconic gear. That's an iconic look from the early 2000s. Like, that is the late 90s, early 2000s Triple H look. But I thought it would be the graphic that he wore that looks like the graphic on his t-shirt there in, like, a red and, like, gunmetal gray. You know, that kind of look. But who am I? You know, they, they have plenty of time, I guess, to put out more Triple H's. But we already have this in Ultimate form. I don't think we needed it in Elite form. But to be honest, this is actually going to pose around better than your Ultimate. So maybe you want to make the switch. I don't know. Put some stuff from your Ultimate on this Elite. And then we have Ted DiBiase. You have the green suit version and then... In the white suit version. I think both look fresh. I'm excited for it. Just, you know, I love, I love suited figures, especially in the white suit. That's clean as hell, but I'm going to be waiting on the brother love figure probably to put myself in white suit. I don't know. I might use this one, but I still like both. I think they're both sought after. Definitely going to try and grab both of those. So we have De Tip DiBiase in the green, Ted DiBiase in the white. Make your selection or make both of your selection. You know, that's all up to you. And then the last bit of news that we have for today is going to be the Target exclusive Adam Cole figure revealed to us. Adam Cole cut a little short little promo, showed off the figure. So 
so Target is getting a Target exclusive Adam Cole. It's a repaint of the Adam Cole and Rival figure from series number 11. Nothing too special here. It's pretty much just taking the series 11 Adam Cole and then painting all of the white on that figure red. And it kind of fits the packaging and everything. It kind of ties in nice. Like it looks really good mint on card. You know, you got like the Target sticker and the red foil, Adam Cole, red and black on the gear. I just think his figures are pretty, I don't know. Like I love Adam Cole, one of my favorite wrestlers in the world. Can't wait for his match with Chris Jericho. But I, I mean, it's just a repaint of Adam Cole. You know, if you miss out on that Adam Cole or whatever the case is, you can easily grab it here. And that is cool, but it is just a repaint Adam Cole with a rubber jacket. I'm sure, you know, I'll definitely grab it. I'll be grabbing it, trying to, you know, be a completionist on the AEW line. So I will be grabbing this, and we'll definitely do a review of it, take a detailed shot of it. But for the most part, it's pretty skippable. If you already have the other Adam Cole, you don't want this one, whatever, you could easily skip it. But I'm hoping they give us, like, a smaller body mold for Adam Cole. I just feel like they make him too thick. Like, he just looks weird, doesn't he? Like, it's just, everything about him is too wide. I feel like the Mattel Elite was perfect. And then this one, I, I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of his figures. They need to go back to the drawing board, but solid head sculpt. He moves around nice. I love Adam Cole, but I don't know. Kind of a kind of a skippable store exclusive. Not really kind of. I mean, you can skip it. You're not going to lose sleep, but I hope to find out some more figures that we're going to be getting in the next few hours here, and we're going to do a you know Night of Champions review. We're going to do AEW figure reveals at AEW Fan Fest. I'm excited, man. I can't wait to see exactly what we get and who we get and what attires and Supremes. I'm really hoping to see a Jeff Hardy unrivaled figure or unmatched figure. I really want to see a Jeff Hardy. I'd love to see a Supreme Jeff Hardy. That's like the dream right there. A, a Supreme Jeff Hardy in that packaging, doing the pose, screaming head sculpt. I mean, dude, write it up right now. You could do so many cool things. You could have him with some cloth shirts. Maybe you could do two different long sleeve tops interchangeable with screaming head sculpts and stuff. Maybe you want to do shirtless with a black tank top. I mean, dude, there's so many options you could do there. So, I mean, they play their cards right. I mean, my mind is spinning with ideas. So hopefully they get that done by but nonetheless, that is going to wrap this news video up. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know down below where you stand on all this news. What do you think about the greatest hits wave and all those different things, man? But stay tuned for Night of Champions reviews. Stay tuned for AEW Fan Fest coverage. Before we get out of here, a huge shout out to our patron army. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron member of the MDT YouTube channel, definitely go check out the link in the description below. Highly appreciate all those guys. They're absolute beasts. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm getting out of here. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my name toys. I'll see you later today. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never back down.